Welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Good evening, everyone. You see this lady right here? She has been to college. She's smart as a whip. She is the Wayne County prosecuting attorney. Her office is in Detroit, Michigan. She's been working as the prosecuting attorney for over 16 years. And guess what? She's dumb as a doorknob. Stupid as a bag of bricks, a bag of rocks. She couldn't fight her way out of paper bag. The mo- I know she must have been dropped on her head when she was a kid. In Detroit, against our wishes, we fought tooth and nail, but Detroit has gotten facial recognition. We fought tooth and nail against it. This idiot savant arrested somebody, signed the warrant for their arrest, had them in jail because the computer told her to do it. And it was the wrong man. Mm, mm, mm. Now this is what kind of idiots we got in Detroit. Everybody told her, they told the mayor, they told the police chief, this system is garbage. It doesn't work. It's against our rights. You can't just arrest people because you saw their picture on Facebook and they look like some guy that jumped out of the airplane killing people. They told us, I don't care. We're getting facial recognition. We're going to catch all the bad people in Detroit. So they caught all the good people. We got a gang of people in jail over facial recognition. And the latest one was Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams was sitting at home and he got a phone call from somebody saying it was the police and to turn himself in. He said, no, stop playing. Who is this? He lives in Southfield. And the Detroit police called him and said, I'm for real. I'm Detroit police. Turn yourself in. We know what you did last summer. He said, get off my phone, you idiot. Stop playing with me. So they said, well, we're just going to arrest you at your job. He said, yeah, okay, whatever makes you happy. I don't believe this. Well, we can, we're going to come over to your house. He said, yeah, good. Well, come to my house. If you're real, come to my house. Yeah, so they came over there. All right. Came over there, talked to his wife, grabbed him, arrested him, took him downtown. He got downtown. They locked him up for about 30 hours. Let him come out, get his bond interrogated him again and said just just sign a statement and make go make it go, we'll make all this go away sign this statement sign this piece of paper he said i'm not what are you talking i didn't what did, did i do it's just sign a statement he said yeah come on let's talk about it what you want to do so they showed him a picture of some guy talking about he stole some watches from shinola in 2018. Now it's 2000. This happened in January of 2020. And they're telling him he stole some watches at 218. And the computer told us you did it. And the computer knows everything. So he got his bond. He got his lawyer. We got the ACLU that's been arguing with him. They back in the fight arguing with him. They looked at the pictures. They said, okay, you're right. It's not you. Uh, We'll let you go. My bad. 
You know, the bologna sandwich was good, wasn't it? So now, once again, they didn't arrest. he's not the only one that got arrested. He's the most famous person that got arrested because he got his lawyer down there and the ACLU down there fast. There's more people that was arrested for this bum facial recognition. The computer told me to do it. How, did, how, how does that sound? You sitting in jail with well, the computer say you did. And then everybody in the room, okay, I guess he did. The computer said so. So now where do we go from here? This man missed work. He has two toddler children that watched the police drag his daddy away. They didn't even know if they was going to kill him or beat him or what was going to happen with the climate we in today with these protests. Oh, I forgot to tell you. His wife asked the police, where's my, where's my husband going? The police got mad and told her to Google it. So we got a lot of questions and we need, we need some answers. How the hell do they, they shooting and killing people daily? All kind of crimes going on. Oh, it's unsolved. It's a cold case. But Shinola got them tracking people around the world because they stole three, three, four thousand dollars worth of watches. And Shinola got the police department searching the world looking for these watches. But we can't find a killer. The guy who stole my car. My car cost ten thousand dollars. We can't find the guy who stole that. But we're going to go do what Shinola won't. Shinola, whatever. We're going to do what they want. In case you don't know, Shinola is one of these new companies that came back from the dead. And they got a, a, a building downtown selling uh, luxury watches. So beware. Beware. When you come to Detroit, we have what they call the green light program where every time you see this flash of green light, they supposed to have a camera that runs directly to the police station. And they got the, the algorithm going, doing facial recognition. So you don't have to do anything. You can just come to Detroit and they'll put a case on you. Cause you look like somebody from five years ago that did something. That's how we that's how we do it down here, and they they just put you in jail anyway. So beware, stay away from Detroit, stay away. We'll get you. The computer told us to. But check this out. Look at this picture. I told you Kim Worthy was stupid. She's an idiot savant. Now look, this is from 2010. She, this, she is mentally unstable. And they let her be the prosecutor because Detroit is 80% black and she put black people in jail. So they let her stay down there. Read it. She's crazy. This is something she proposed. And when she said this, people's like, oh, I have to shoot her. She crazy. She had a mental breakdown. She went to her daughter's school and was for parent teacher conference. And nobody showed up. She was the only parent that showed up. So the next day she got on TV talking about you better go take care of your kids and support your kids and help them in school so, so they can get their grades and have good attendance. Oh, I'm going to put you in jail. Because I'm the prosecutor. She had people cussing, screaming. People were shaking in their boots. People was, was t telling their boss they, they got to quit their job because they got to go to school or Kim Worthy going to put them in jail. People that was homeless. Talking about, well, I got I to gotta go to school with my daughter. 
I'm homeless. I got to figure out how to get up there. People got all kind of problems in Detroit. Did she want to put somebody in jail? That's all she know. That's a, that's what they tell them. They tell them, is it a problem? Well, just put somebody in jail. Just, that's my job. Just put somebody in jail. And they get down there and get excited. Oh, well, my car wouldn't start. Put him in jail. Uh, the, the dog uh, bit me. Put him in jail. Uh, the light went out. Put him in jail. Put him in jail. That's a, it's an idiot. An idiot savant. 